Hi guys. A new editorial has been published in the Journal of Clinical Lipidology, which discusses the phenomenon of high cholesterol on a low-carb diet. It is anchored by co-senior authors Matt Budoff and Ron Kraus, as well as a powerhouse of MD and PhD co-authors. The paper explores the emergence of the lean mass hyperresponder phenotype, its active discussion on social media, and recent published papers examining this profile. The editorial calls on both a patient-centered clinical approach and advancement of further research and support. It concludes, the authors of the present letter advocate that all individuals whose LDL cholesterol levels substantially increase on ketogenic diets should consider implementing lifestyle change and or pharmacologic therapy for lowering LDL cholesterol and ApoB. In those circumstances where there are competing medical conditions, weighing of factors should be an individual matter and determined by patient-physician collaboration. Further research is warranted to understand the ASCVD risk in this population, as well as to understand the mechanistic determinants of this phenotype. On a personal note, while I'm not a co-author and generally avoid advocating a particular course of action for individuals, with this being no exception, I'm very much in favor of bringing greater awareness to this editorial. It seeks to strike a strategic balance between conventional lipid management and emerging considerations of metabolic health for those adopting a low-carb lifestyle. In fact, I'm proud to have contributed financially to the publisher's open source fee alongside nearly 50 members of the Lean Mass Hyperresponder Facebook group. That was accomplished with support through the Citizen Science Foundation. As such, you can click the link below to read it in full. Lastly, as you may already know, we have a prospective lean mass hyperresponder study ongoing at the Lundquist Institute, which we hope will provide data for risk with this phenotype. Before now, efforts to study normal, metabolically healthy individuals with high LDL cholesterol have been extremely limited. Lean mass hyperresponders provide a truly unique opportunity to capture these specific metrics at a population level. We're certainly thankful for the explicit call to action in this editorial for further research and we'll continue to do our part to meet this goal.